730, 92.1, WROI, WROIFM.com, streaming audio live on RTC Channel 5. Are we streaming audio and video live on RTC Channel 4, Scotty? We hope so. Uh, we sure do hope so on this Friday morning. And, of course, if you have a smartphone or an Android, you can download the TuneIn Radio app, take us wherever you're going. Which, of course, since it's Friday and you want to prepare for the weekend, is the First Federal Savings Bank. And when you go there, you'll say hello to Dick Belcher. Hello to Tom. Morning. Morning. Nice to have you back. Morning, Scott. Day. Good morning, sir. Morning, Mark. Good morning. Everybody's here. It's that oh, old song, right? Never, hail, never. hail. The gang's all here. <laughs> okay. It's going to be a great weekend. Yeah, it is going to be nice. Oh, it's going to That's be nice. That's a nice weather lately. <clears throat> Well, we need a rain. Well, we do need a little rain, yes. No, we need an inch. We need an inch? Mm, okay. At least. Maybe tomorrow. 50-50 yeah. chance. Is that right? Yeah. 50-50 chance. Okay. It's going to get up to 80 today. 80 and sunny. Right. Okay. We've got graduations tonight. Exactly. And That's right. Lots of things going on there. Congratulations to all those that suffered through... 12 years of school. <laughs> yeah. All right, now, Tom, what do you think about Paul Ryan endorsing Trump? Well, I think sooner or later he was going to have to do that if he wanted any unity in the party at all. Yeah. And so he did yesterday. So uh, did they make a deal with each other? You never know. You never okay. know what went on behind the scenes. Okay, now. You probably don't know this, that this is National Donut Day. I did not know that. Yes. Is it really? Yeah, did you know yeah. that? <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's, a, no. that's really important information, though. I mean, that is important it information. It's a wealth of knowledge. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, my question is, sometimes they spell donut with D-O-U-G-H-N-U-T. Yeah. And sometimes it's D-O. Yeah. Why? Hmm. Don't know. I don't know. Okay. That's a good trivia question, though. Uh, but it's not my trivia question. <laughs> That's what I it's, figured. <laughs> it's not today. Speaking of trivia, last December, the National Center for Educational Statistics said the nation's high school graduation rate hit 82% in 13, 14, year 2013 14. What was Indiana's rate? Was it 80.2, 83.5, or 87.9? Uh, Mark knows the answer to that, and he'll have it for us later in the okay. program. Right. Yeah. Google. <laughs> okay, did you watch the basketball game last night? I did not. I saw the result this morning, though. Yeah, the Warriors won 104 to 89. Yeah. Cleveland needs to pick up the next game if they're going to do anything in this series. Yeah. You can't go to Cleveland being down by two, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, let's see now. The town of Cleveland, I think, has not won a national championship. Been a long time. Fifty some years. Been a long time. You follow basketball? The NBA, not so much. No, I do like that uh, Curry kids. Fun to watch. Yeah, he's good. How many did he have last night? Did he? I don't know. He's a good player. He seems like a good, good egg too. I like yeah, him. yeah. Good role model. Yeah. yeah. He's the all-American boy. That's right. The first two awards from the Rochester Downtown Partnership Facade Grant Program. Okay, good. Now we're going to get, see new awnings and stuff? Probably so, yes. Speaking yeah. of Downtown Partnership, though, they're having a block party, Yeah. and it's that busy weekend you were talking yeah. about. It'll be on the 18th. Yeah. Okay, Mary Frances Heller will celebrate her 90th birthday with an open house, one to four Saturday open house is at the story landing okay congratulations to her you bet how about some flowers this morning sure okay akron lions club recently donated a thousand dollars of fish fry money to the food pantry at the akron church of god our uh, cargill cargill animal nutrition mentone okay got that out recently donated uh, Cargill Cares grant funds to uh, totaling six thousand dollars to the Tippy Valley Middle School Project Lead the Way program. Excellent. Okay, now you, you got to give some flowers to one of the first federal people. You, know, Dina. We talk about Dina Gottschalk, and uh, uh, she, she's been published in the uh, Wall Street Journal many times. This was last week, and uh, I'll. Uh, 
convey what it says. It shows uh, uh, this is an interview for Anchor right. Edition, and the the lady says, "Now smile and say the Dow plunged <laughs> 300 points today." Yeah. Well, well, can you say that? That's definitely <laughs> appropriate for the Wall Street Journal. That's yeah. Dina's a talent. She does. Good she's talent. good. She sub submits lots there. She never knows when they're going to be run. <laughs> Except uh, she goes to the internet every morning. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh. <clears throat> well, okay. Uh, Eldon Musk. Yeah. He, the car developer. Yeah. He mentioned he'd be pleased to die on Mars. He'd like that, right. Uh, Tesla electric car guy. Uh, High-speed transit, transits, and uh, yeah, rockets. He's quite a thinker. Rockets. Well, they you know they came out with this lesser price Tesla, like forty thousand versus right. eighty thousand, and they they have, they've sold thousands of them already. Are they traded on the stock exchange? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Very volatile. No, yeah. oh, I'll bet. Yeah. I'll bet. They're they're there under. TEL, I think. Yeah. Yeah, they're all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you want to be safe and secure, that's not the one yeah, to pick, right? probably the one. At Microsoft and Apple. And <laughs> Coca Cola. Well, the Dow closed up 49 yesterday, closed at 17,839. Airlines are flying. Doing well. They're flying high. You're doing well. You get that. Cheap oil. Are playing, right? Cheap yeah, oil. Fuel costs are yes, exactly. a major expense. Right. We, we don't like the word cheap. Well, I see. Okay. Inexpensive. Yeah. Less expensive. How's that? Cost effective. Oh, okay. There's a few words we don't use down at the first level. <laughs> One is problem, cheap. Yeah, I see. Now you Remember that. Tell your kids you're. No, I'm not cheap. I'm frugal. <laughs> frugal. <laughs> okay. Come on down to First Federal today. We're open from uh, five uh, until 5 today. Tomorrow, 8.30 to noon. ATM, our new ATM. How's that working out, by the way? Great. Is it Great. good? Yeah. Uh, I found out that uh, see our old ATM opened on the east side. This one opens on the back side. And I find out if our sprinkler's running, I get wet. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't figure that in the big plan. Less, lesson learned, right? <laughs> <clears throat> We're working hard up right now to update information about our customers so our records are accurate. If you have moved recently or have a cell phone number that you haven't given us, we'd like to hear from you as soon as possible. We have a special uh, going on for high school graduates. If they open a student checking account with us, we will deposit $50 in our new account and to the account opening. The bonus will be reported to the IRS. Uh, I know, we always have to say that even uh, though we don't like yeah. to. I'm from the government, I'm here to tax <laughs> right. <laughs> Minimum opening deposit $50. Qualifications and restrictions apply. A new accounts representative can explain all this to you and all the, the, the whys and the don'ts. Are you planning now for your 50th open house? We are. Next uh, customer appreciation day it, next month? It's, it's a uh, Friday after the 4th of July. Okay. You got it on your book? I do. Okay. Yeah. We're going to have a lot of special things. Excellent. All, all revolving around 50, right? Yep. Ah. We have a big birthday cake. We're going to serve ice cream. Wow, good. Along with Townsend's uh, barbecue. Okay. That, your mouth watering? And it's all, <laughs> well, and it's okay. all free. That's the best part. Free is good. Yeah. It's not cheap. It's no. <laughs> follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Interest rates uh, have just stayed pretty flat not much happening in there and uh, we're, we're seeing a lot of activity in construction loans which is a good sign not only in Fulton County right. but uh, northern part up where Mr. Obama was uh, a day or two ago right. you know he's 
who went from 18 percent unemployment when he went there right after he became president to 4.5. He's taking a lot of credit for that too. No kid. Yeah, <laughs> he is. Well, I would too. <laughs> Under his guiding hand. Well, things are much, much better up there. Uh, we, of course, we have a location in Mishawaka and Elkhart, and uh, the RV uh, is a big deal, especially in the Elkhart County. And uh, they, they can't get enough workers. Qualified exactly. workers. Qualified workers, right. Qualified workers. When does the Fed meet again? Well, uh, they meet monthly or quarterly? Monthly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, soon, soon, not. Uh, Sometimes months. Weeks. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you. Okay. Keep us keep us yeah. informed about that. That's always. Uh, well, they're not going to do anything. Well, it's, so, it's, they yeah, well no, so they yeah. say. So they say. We may it, we may raise them. We may not. But the market watches that. The market watches that very closely. See what the Fed's doing. They do. Yeah. It'll be a small move anyway. So kind of ease into it. Quarter. If they do. Yeah. Right. Well, the last time they moved, it, it didn't affect interest rates at all. Matter of fact, uh, they went down a little bit. First Federal's FDIC insured on an equal housing lender, and our NMLS number is 3999-27. I have that memorized, by the Do way, you? in case you ever uh, forget okay. to write it down. Yeah, I, I can quote that good. verbatim. Good. Mark Lubaugh, welcome. Hey, glad to be here. Glad. Thank you very much. <laughs> What, what have you been doing lately? I haven't seen you. <laughs> I'm enjoying this weather that uh, Tom has brought to us. Yeah, I did a good job. Else. That's yeah, right. Good stuff. Yeah, ever since he moved upstairs, he's kind of hard to find. Oh, yeah, but, he, <laughs> but he's got a penthouse up there. Yeah. Overlooks the used well, car lot. Getting a little older, you know, so nap times are uh, loud. It's nice and quiet up there. Uh, you can take the elevator right up with sure. his wheelchair and uh, wheel off. and. Uh, yeah, it's a nice facility along with the whole addition to the bank. came out wonderful. Beautiful. Okay, Mark, how long you been with First Federal Savings Bank? Oh, gosh, Dick, a uh, long time. So, I don't know, 28, 29 years? 29 years? Yeah. I think. You're getting, you're getting to be really senior down there. I know. Uh, yeah. I, uh, okay. Another 10, you'll have caught up with Jim Snyder. <laughs> He's one of my heroes. And hats off to Jimmy. And right. Miss him already. Good man. Sure. Uh, yeah, I've been there a while. I've been in the business uh, 82, I think so. so okay. Pushing 35 years. Been been interesting. A lot of changes. Okay. Now, for those of people out there that uh, don't know you or know what you do, tell tell them uh, what your job is at First Federal. Uh, basically, I'm an investment advisor. So uh, my job is to sit down with our customers and talk to them about investments in general, and then try to match up. What they're trying to do with those assets they have available, whether it's uh, current income, growth, uh, college planning for children, grandchildren, retirement. Uh, so it's real important to <coughs> determine what that that need is, uh, and most of the conversation is that. And then eventually, then we will implement a plan to try to match that up with uh, uh, the risk that they're willing to take or not willing to take, and. Uh, Pretty much because there's a gazillion different investments out there, and they all uh, are designed for different purposes. So my job is to uh, explain how they work and, and see if that would work for everybody's them. situation that's, is different, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and that's and that's uh, what the interesting part of my job in uh, 35 years. Um, it's been I work with uh, young people, older people, uh, uh, people of uh, all kinds of different job descriptions. Here locally, of course, uh, Winnemac, Plymouth, I, I get all over the place. I deal with, uh, work with a lot of uh, people that farm for a living, uh, a lot of professionals, a lot of uh, folks that uh, are in manufacturing. So it's very interesting. Uh, I, I like that part of it. Uh, and then dealing with the different age bases is, is also very interesting and challenging. And everybody has their own need or purpose. The hardest part I feel for for our clients is is defining that what what exactly what you do what they want to do. Uh, a lot of folks I'll ask them. Uh, so what well, what do you want to do? And then they look at me. What are you talking about? I want to make a lot of money. Well, well right. But uh, how and do you, be safe. Yeah. So it's you know, kind of uh, 
I want to make 20% without any risk. Well, we, we need to talk a little bit about this. So, Your expectations, uh, right? Right. So uh, that's a big part of my job right there, I, I think, and probably most important, and to get the client in an investment that will hopefully accomplish their goals. And like I said, the hard part is defining those goals sometimes and something that they're comfortable with, that they can sleep at night and uh, some people are, uh, do not want any risk whatsoever. Um, but what we try to do is look at the, you know, it's pretty basic actually, just look at the, the big pie, the pie being your, your assets, what, what you have, and then carve that up for different needs. Uh, so a lot of folks want to, you always want to make sure you have liquidity, so money that you can get to the uh, house repair, vacation, uh, got college right. coming up, or then you want to make sure you're, you've got ample income, whether it's your job or if you're counting on your investment portfolio because you're retired or semi-retired, we want to generate some income from there. Then you want to carve out a piece then for, for growth. Uh, what I did want to touch on today, which I'm seeing a lot more of, and, and part of it is that what we've been talking about here is that I've been doing this a long time. Uh, myself, I'm getting a little older, and I've noticed uh, a lot of my customers, of course, are, are getting older. So a lot of them, uh, it's worked, which is very rewarding. In other words, we, uh, in the past shows uh, here, I'm usually talking about accumulating assets. So whether that be retirement accounts, uh, investments of, of various sources but uh, now I'm getting where uh, like I said with the age uh, a lot of folks have done that they've they've listened to Tom and Dick's advice over the years and have saved and <laughs> Dick's and, advice <laughs> and have, have made some uh, good investments along with of course some bad ones but we got through those times uh, and it's it's an obstacle course you have good days bad days in your investments just like you do life in general sure so we've, we've accomplished that. We've got ample income coming in from retirement funds or whatever it may be, Social Security. Uh, we have socked away in savings for a nice trip to Hawaii or whatever you're, you want to do. But we've got X amount of dollars that I'm probably not going to need these dollars uh, for the rest of my life. So how can I best get those to my children, grandchildren, or favorite charity, whatever that may be? So we have a lot of tools that can able, enable you to do that uh, without taking much risk or any risk. Uh, and, uh, and I'm not really talking about buying life insurance. A lot of these folks are uh, in their 70s, 80s. Life insurance uh, is important, but at that age, it's kind of expensive. So uh, we're talking about looking at investment vehicles that not only can give you some moderate growth potential, but also uh, make sure that X amount of dollars are going to go to wherever you want them to go upon your passing. So it's uh, not a total estate plan, but it's just part of an estate plan, and that is uh, basically wealth transfer, which is a very interesting concept because we all work uh, very, very hard and accumulate or try to, and, and uh, as time goes by, all of a sudden, hey, that worked. This is a good deal. <laughs> and what do I do now? So. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of that, and like I said, it's definitely uh, age-based, both the fact that, like I said, I've been in, doing this a long time, so uh, it's been fun watching that. I've, I've had some clients that I've had for the 35 years I've been in the business, and we started doing SEP plans, IRA plans, 401ks, and all of a sudden, hey, this has worked out, now what do we do? So, now what, then, right. Yeah, so it's uh, very interesting. Somebody, uh, I assume you do a business with a lot of people that are are retiring, and uh, they may want to roll over their four hundred one k. Yeah, tell with, us about yeah. that. Without a doubt, Dick, the the four hundred one k market, uh, which is, is just absolutely a, a great thing, because that gives uh, 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 the average uh, wage earner an opportunity to sock away some money for retirement. Uh, and, and if you do it, it, it works. And there again, we're seeing that because uh, the last 20 years or whatever, they've become very popular. Uh, most companies are, uh, large companies are doing away with pensions. So uh, you need to save for yourself and uh, 401k is an excellent way to do that. Um, and then at, usually at retirement, folks want to, okay, 
uh, I want to look at some options uh, with my 401k and we'll, we'll roll it into an IRA and then there again define what, okay, what do we want to do with this? Do we want a current income from it? Do we need current income? Uh, if you're retiring fairly early, let's, let's get it invested so that we definitely have future income. But uh, big, big market. Um, uh, what I like about it, like I said, uh, uh, about anybody can participate in one. Uh, if you don't have one at work, and let's say you're self-employed, there's other options, so SEP plans, KEO, uh, of course, good old IRA will accumulate too. So, uh, but yeah, we do a lot in the rollover business and uh, very important to sit down with an advisor and, and discuss, okay, what do I want to do with this? And then look at uh, all the available options because there's a million of them. Mark, there's some TV commercials out there that indicate the younger you start saving for retirement, the better off you're going to be. The, the flip side of that is a lot of young families just don't have that extra money that they think that they can put into a savings account on a regular basis. How do you counsel them with that? Well, I think you you uh, look at your budget and, and try to squeak, squeak that out if you can. And uh, we probably everybody in this room has, has been there. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, I raised two daughters, put them through college, right. et cetera, and there was like, uh, I don't think I can really afford that, but you got to, <laughs> you got to make that effort. Uh, you will find that uh, there again, the older you get, it does become. If you, uh, uh, I've always, I tell my kids, you know what? Amazing things happen if you just go to work every day. <laughs> It'll work eventually. That's like showing up for class, right? <laughs> yeah, or school. You know, right. get that education first, but. Uh, you got to do it, uh, and and if you uh, keep doing it and do it on a regular, steady basis, which is the whole I idea of the 401k because it's payroll deduction, uh, you won't you won't miss it as much. But it is, yeah, that is difficult uh, for most folks. But uh, make it a priority um, and start start anything. The idea is not necessarily how much, uh, just do it, and you'll get you'll get used to it. You won't miss it as much. And then also the, the rate of return you receive is, is why you're talking to people like myself, but that is something that is really not controllable. So look at just doing it, whether it's saving $10 a week, uh, $100 a month, whatever you, you can, carve out of that budget, make, make it a priority. That's the only way it will happen. It, it is difficult, yes, but you can do it. Uh -huh. Okay. I think that's especially true with uh, employers uh, that uh, do matching funds for 401k and uh, if, if you as an employee do not participate, you're just leaving money on the table. And, uh, and I, I know exactly what you're talking about, Tom, because we have that situation a lot in, in the banking world. That, uh, you got two little kids at home or three little kids and then you got college coming and uh, you mortgage know, you're still paying for and the car payments and that kind yeah, of thing. Sure, sure make your mortgage payment that we like that and, <laughs> yeah. and uh, but there comes a time in their life uh, when the kids are gone and uh, the income keeps coming in that's a great time to add to uh, one of these programs that might that's a Pay yourself first is, is kind of the, what we call it in my industry. So in other words, carve out something there. Uh, yeah. If your mortgage is at first federal, especially, make, yeah, make sure you pay that but uh, and car payment or whatever, but try to carve some out for yourself sure. for your future. Okay, now, uh, Mark, uh, I've had this situation happen several times. Uh, People come in, they, they've inherited some money or they come about some money and uh, like uh, several thousands of dollars and they whine and complain about we don't pay them anything on CD <laughs> and, there's just, and that's just right. And they don't like the stock market. Oh, it's very, very uh, iffy and high risk. Mm -hmm. What should we tell them? That's a discussion I have probably, what, 10, 20 times a day. And, uh, <laughs> I'm, I, I just put it out there, uh, I mean, it's just straightforward that that's the way it is. Uh, so if you are not wanting to be a little bit uh, out, of, out of the box, being a little bit more growth or uh, conscious or aggressive, 
Uh, it's just the way it is. Uh, CDs, it's not the bank's fault. It's just what the economy is. That's what those are paying. And some folks, uh, that's where they should be, should be and, and remain there. Uh, what we try to do again is, is carve out some of those assets. So let's say you're comfortable with X amount of dollars in an in a insured CD, uh, that's kind of your safety net. Now let's venture out with some, some of the other investment dollars and look at some other products that could give you some growth potential. Uh, what we and do security. A, and security. Sure. Well, what we do a ton of, which um, there's good ones, bad ones out there, I do a lot of annuity vehicles. Right. Uh, the reason why is because you do have some guarantees. So you can participate uh, uh, in the markets on a limited basis, uh, so the indexes, but have some protection. Uh, normally the, the number one protection on a annuity type vehicle is there's always a return of principal death benefit. So a lot of my older customers, it's, it's a perfect fit because because of their age, uh, they can afford to be a little more aggressive. Worst case is going to happen if something happened to them, their spouse or children is going to get that money back. So it, it enables you to look at uh, being a little bit more aggressive with some of those assets. Uh, we do a lot of annuity vehicles that are structured may, maybe more for income at retirement. Uh, they offer guaranteed lifetime income, but it, it does take a lot of the uh, 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 volatility out of the markets for those particular dollars. Uh, You're in town today? I'm here, I'm here all day and all right. on Monday. Excellent. All right. <coughs> Mark if, if Dick, Dick allows me. I, I <laughs> Mark Lou with First Federal Savings Bank for a long, long time. Uh, tell, t give me where your schedule is because I uh, never know where you are. Yeah, that, that, that's on purpose. I know. But I got uh, the cell phone, which my my wife thinks it's a GPS. She she needs to know where I'm at 24/7. But, uh, but so you can get a hold of me there. But I am always in. Uh, uh, Rochester on Monday and Friday have for what we say 28 years. I've yet to day yet uh, gone to the wrong branch, <laughs> which is really surprising. As long and, as that uh, doesn't happen, you're all up. <laughs> went to Mac uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I uh, split Wednesday in uh, Bremen in the morning, and then I get over to Plymouth in the afternoon on Wednesdays. Uh, Elkhart, Mishawaka, pretty much is by appointment. Thank you for stopping by this morning. I just got one comment. You spoke a lot about older people. <laughs> I was referring to myself. Oh, yeah. Okay. But Everybody in the room except Scott, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a good thing. I, uh, All right. Our trivia this morning was that the National Center for Educational Statistics said the nation's high school graduation rate hit 82% in in year 2013-14. What was Indiana's rate? 80%, 83%, or 87.9? What do you think, Mark? Well, we're usually average about everything, but I'll, uh, I'll go with the lower one, the 80. I like the 83. What about you, Scott? I'll stay with the 80. All right. No, 87.9. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, you, Indiana normally is. Yeah. Well, we underestimated great. our yeah. great state. <laughs> oh. That's the governor good. can take credit for that. <laughs> well, he will. It happened in 13. That's a good thing. Okay, let's close with this. Words of wisdom. This is for this weekend's graduates. Okay. This is from Gary Bolding, who uh, was an artist, and he says to the graduates, your families are extremely proud of you. You can't imagine the sense of relief they are experiencing. This would be the most opportune time to ask for money. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Dick Belcher, thank you very much. Mark Blubaugh, thank you for being here. Scott, as always, thank you for being in the studio today on the First Federal Program. Thank you. Buying your first home? Let the experts at First Federal Savings Bank help you through the process. At First Federal, all of their mortgage loans are serviced locally with payment options that are convenient for you. Their staff will work with you answering your questions and providing professional service. First Federal will even pay standard closing costs for qualifying first-time home buyers. Just another way, First Federal takes care of you, your local mortgage lender.